elbow one day like this, when we have a capo at the third fret, this can be very beginner friendly, superb sing-along song. In fact, we're gonna skip straight along to that sing-along section. It's just got three chords. If there's nothing else you learn from this tutorial, make sure you learn this bit because it's absolutely fantastic and great for your guitar skills. The chords are D major, C major and G major and that's it. Eighth strumming, which means we split a bar into eight strums, one and two and three and four. That's how we count it. And it sounds like this. Throw those curtains wide. One day like this a year at see me ride. And it repeats that, hopefully for a long time if you can get everyone singing along at your barbecue this summer. So, D major chord, one and two and three and four and, but lift off from that D major chord on the and, and every chord to give you time to change. This is the trick guys, so we'll watch this carefully. One and two and three and four lift, one and two and three and four lift, so the important bit, lifting totally off on the end, but being back down on the one of the next bar. Count it again. One and two and three and four. Lift one and two and three and four. Lift one and two and three and four. Lift. And if you need it, just have a quick practice of each chord change individually. Going D to the C, C to the G, and back round, just going round in a circle, kind of like this. Or, if say it's C major to G major that you're still needing some practice with, just drill that change for a couple of minutes. Get in there, get in there. Until you feel like you've got it under your fingers and we can rely on that change when we add the strumming pattern. So take the time that you need if you want to practice those three chords, just the changes. As soon as you feel able, join in with me. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four. Lift one and two and three and four. Lift one and two and three and four. Lift one and two and three and four. Throw those curtains wide. One day like this a year. Last time, throw those curtains wide. One day like this a year, it see me right. Okie dokie. So that's the ending section. The rest of it really isn't too much harder. It's a very similar thing, but let me talk you through it. It just adds a G major chord. So we got D, G, A major, and G. And it's two bars of each, so you got a little bit longer, but same strumming. So let me show you. Two, three, four. Drinking in the morning sun. Two, three, two, a G. Blinking in the morning sun. Two, three, four. Shaking off a heavy one Back to G major Yeah, heavy like a loaded gun And that's the gist, the only other thing that happens is It's the same chord progression for the next part But it's E minor in place of an A major A major can be played like this But many beginners will have learnt it like this Perhaps from my lessons or elsewhere That's totally fine, as long as it is the A major chord and not an A minor you're all good. Let's go for broke. Let's try and go for that straight away. If you struggle with the eighth strumming, one and two and three and, just go on the beat, which is that main pulse. Reduce the strumming down if needed, but other than that, join in with me and let's have some fun. I'll play it nice and slow for you. From the D major chord. Two, three, four. Drinking in the morning sun. G chord two. Three G blinking in the morning sun. One, two, three. A major shaking off a heavy one. One, two, three. 
For that part where the strings would kick in, allow your string quartet to play it if you're lucky enough to have one. But if you're not, strum it to the same, strum a D chord to the same rhythm. One and two and three and four. And mute, put your outside of the palm of your hand on the strings. Two and three and four. Like that. Or you can play individual notes, if, especially if there's a couple of you, you're going to play this uh, barbecue this summer. That's just the note from the D major chord. It's the open fourth string to the second string. Four, four, two, two, four, four, two. String numbers wise, counting one, two, three, four. Four, four, two, two, four, four, two. And I'm relaxing that third finger, or any finger you choose to have on that string. If you relax it, the note stops. Keep it on the string. Notice how when I relax the note stops, keep pressing down it rings out, we want it to stop. Or if we relax there, mute it here if you need, like that, or just strum it. And that's essentially guys, that is the whole song. It Obviously it's quite long. So joining into the original can be a challenge, but that's what I want to encourage you to do. I'm actually going to leave this one with you now. I'm going to link on my website where this video is embedded. I'm going to link below to the, a live version that I recommend you strum along to and see how you get on. This is a good one to judge where you're at because we have those three simple sections, that main chord progression, D, G, A major, and back to G. We have the riff section, and then we have the end, throw those curtains wide. You've got those three sections, get them all individually, try and put them together, and try and play along to Guy Garvey and Elbow. I think you'll have loads of fun. Let me know how you get on in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.